What's up guys, Genesis King here, and welcome back to our Stellar Star Wars series as the Mandalorians. So in between episodes, as I usually do, I uh, went through all of our planets, did some building, did some planetary management, things along those lines. Nothing too crazy important or any major overhauls. Uh, if there was, I, I would have mentioned it uh, at the intro here. Uh, here are our two fleets after, if we zoom out, uh, up here in the L cluster, we took out the Great Tempest. Now, unfortunately, um, the Mon Cal were able to sneak up here and uh, take a couple systems before we were able to. And to be quite honest, they actually did help take out um, a lot of actually the uh, the Great Tempest fleet. We took out some, we took out their home system. So it is unfortunate that we are not going to be able to take that system. Theoretically, we could jump them, but whatever, we'll, we'll take these four and we will call it good. Uh, let's go ahead and unpause. So, in this episode, what are we going to do? We are probably, more than likely, going to be going to war with the Rebellion. So, the Rebellion and the Tendrikian Council, uh, they are in a federation now. And if you look over here, Tendrikian Council has a 370k fleet uh, on top of a 250. Yeah, they, they are equivalent and actually superior. So... This is a war we are going to need to fight, and we are going to need to fight now. Um, Technology-wise, I am surprised that they are superior to us. That being said, I think they did build... Uh, they built a research installation, didn't they? Now, there's a sentry array. And I believe maybe over here they built... Oh, no, Mega Shipyard. Okay. So, yeah, they got that going on, so we're going to need to hit them. Um, they kind of uh, steamrolled as we sort of lost track of them with all the other wars and things that were going on. Um, capital ship hole points plus 1,500. Oh, speaking of capital ships, um, let's go ahead and grab capital ship, build key. Oh, yeah, build. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Um, so speaking of that, I did go into fleet manager and I did actually add a couple capital ships into our fleets. Um, I had forgotten completely that we had finished that tech and we didn't have it anywhere in our fleets but here's the capital ship it is what is in the thumbnail for the series so i figured you know probably appropriate um to get at least one two and actually what ends up being four of these um built for the fleet before the series is over um let's go ahead and bump the speed up here we are what over here capital wins housing plus one housing governor leader yeah we'll take the Governor Leader Cap. Um, we are reinforcing as we get more and more alloys in to these fleets. Uh, we're also, as you can tell, we were repairing. And we do also need to upgrade because we did get improved um, improved thrusters. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh. Why is that going to send you all the way back here? To the mega shipyard. Well, either way, we do need to upgrade them. So... Might as well go do that. And you'll follow right behind. Uh, you are repaired, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't think there's going to be a war kicking off up here anytime soon. Uh, and as I said, we are going to be fighting the Rebellion. Um, but mostly the, the, the Tendrakian Council, because we're going to have to send both fleets over here. Which is relatively unfortunate, because we do share a border with the Rebellion. Um, maybe I should build defensive station up over here. Although, are they too terrible of a, th of a threat? I mean, they're enough to be annoying. But I wouldn't call them... Too terrible of a threat, I don't think? I mean, they are... Wow, tech-wise, they are superior to us, which is interesting. Uh, so we'll have to go and we'll have to poke them. Uh, black market ship upgrade cost minus 5%. Um, ooh, so actually, what I need to do then, before we grab that next tech, is I need to belay your order, and then go upgrade, so we can save a little bit of moolah on that. Um, same thing here, and upgrade. Uh, and then who do we want to reinforce more? Probably you guys. We'll get more ships going in there. We did lose a decent amount of battleships, which is unfortunate, and we are going to want to make sure we get those built up. Uh, at a bare minimum before we go to war up here. Hopefully that's before this episode is over. Um, but we do need to get those fleets built back out. Especially with the battleships. Maybe the capital ships. Um, but most definitely the battleships. Uh, climate restoration. Edict duration. I guess we'll take the Gene Warrior Army. 
Uh, capital chip hole points plus 1500. Armor hit points plus five. It's 35%. Or a nanite transmuter. That would be good. Um, I think we only have a few carriers. 21 months. Yeah, let's get more armor. 21 months for more armor. I'm I'm sold. All right, reinforcements are coming through. Uh, let's go to the market and let's go ahead and buy some additional alloys. Which, yeah, it's going to crater that, but it's going to be fine in the long run. Um, Envoy has died at the ripe old age of 136. So that's going to be okay. You. Who has less battleships? I think you're going to get a bunch of reinforcements soon. So let's get you reinforced. Unfortunately, I think most of these ships are being built at the shipyard. Uh, so you're going to have to wait to upgrade. No, actually, because there is 10 available. So, yeah, that's going to go real quick. Yeah, yeah, we'll be good. We'll be perfectly fine. Okay. So that is all getting done there. In the meantime, let's let's talk about our battle strategy here. Um, we are going to need to hit. Oh, hey, there's my armies. <laughs> um, I don't know how you got up here. Regardless, uh, we're going to need to come this way. Luckily, uh, well, luckily or not, they are keeping their main fleet here two jumps away from the border uh, in a system that this engagement chance minus 50 percent. Uh, I'm sorry, emergency FTL jump cooldown plus 50 uh, and the disengagement chance is only uh, is reduced rather by 50 percent. Um, they're in their home territory, which is why they're so strong. The strength of our fleets right here will go down when we leave our territory. I think you might, if you were looking at it earlier, you might have seen that uh, when we did leave our territory coming through over here. Uh, rising unemployment on Mandalore habitat. Why? Yeah, I've got the gases, so let's uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. And those two should take care of those jobs. All right, uh, let's keep you chilling for now. And actually, let's save a little bit of upkeep System here. And let's get you guys over to these stations because this one should have, if it does not already, uh, yeah, crew quarters. So going to get minus 25% on that upkeep. That'll help out. I mean, we're positive and that's going to come back. Ooh, we are negative on food. So that's going to be something we need to look at. That being said, we've got 52k. Uh, so short term, don't need to worry about it that much. Interstellar Assembly, Uplift. I mean, we don't have really... Paradise Dome. Let's do that. Uh, Admiral has died. Oh. All right, we have somebody available. Yes, we do. Ooh, you're pretty dang good. Sublight speed. Let's actually grab you since you're patrolling. You'll get that sublight speed bonus. Uh, gateways done in the Pirate Conglomerate. That's going to be okay. And then how long until you are done? Oh, hey, literally right now. Park and Glamour has vanquished the distant, uh, an ancient threat. Okay. All right, the upgrade is going to be 10,000. Uh, let's see, plus 100%, what they're here for. Why is that saying Mega Shipyard? That's interesting. I th there we go. Okay, that was really weird. Okay, so it's 15k. Uh, armor holds 50 plus 2 plus, plus 5. We might want to save up for that. Uh, before getting these guys out. Um, you're up on Corvettes. You still need a lot of Corvettes. Holy crap. Um, so we'll go ahead and reinforce you. That literally did all but eight of our alloys. Wow. Dude, you know what? Yeah, we need the cannon fodder. And actually, there's some battleships still coming off the line, so that's going to be fine. Scientific breakthrough achieved. And that's not even using the, the mega shipyard because they're already in this system. That's kind of funny. How many ships are you kicking off the one at a time? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You can go ahead and... You know what? It's going to be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
Uh, auto cure rating vault is done. Lovely. Uh, let's grab edict duration and we'll uh, we'll call that good. We have a lot of naval cap we could build up into. Um, Six eighty nine per month is pretty decent. Uh, I am tempted again to upgrade this because we are making tons and tons of cash. And it's relatively cheap. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we could probably sell more to Banagas. Already selling a bunch of minerals. Yeah, let's let's sell some more to Banagas. We'll go up to 60. Alright, so we're plus 729. So in 15 months, well, not 15 months. In about 20 to 25 months, we should have enough. 25 months, yes. I think, no, I'm terrible at math. I don't know why I'm doing math live. Um, well, we should have enough to uh, get the Strategic Coordination Center, uh, wherever you are, over here, upgrading to its Tier 2 stage. All right. We are still short a couple strike cruisers here. Carrier cruiser. Oh yeah, your carrier cruiser was destroyed, wasn't it? Right, 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 right. Ah, so I think this would be enough to hit these guys. So getting back to the battle plans. Oh, there's an L gate here. Oh, ho, ho. So that changes that. I don't know why I didn't notice that in the first place. Essentially what that means is we could come up here. Uh, we could, I'm going to build a star base. Um, breakthrough achieved. come here. We would be able to jump straight on top of their fleets the minute, like literally we would pop in on top of them. Um, and I think with the numbers advantage that would allow us to wreck these guys. And that would almost be the war. Like they would be knocked out fairly quick in the opening salvo. Um, although this 258k fleet may be a challenge depending on what we lose here but if we go in with both of our fleets we should be fine um some more energy credits let's get more shields this time all right i'm gonna go ahead and go to the market again it's gonna crater um yeah we want to get closer though uh you that would actually spend literally all 8k um i think some of that oh wow yeah, we don't have many torpedo cruisers here. Four of ten. Do we have no destroyers in this fleet? We don't. All of our destroyers got destroyed. Here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to up these by... Ten, and we're actually going to knock these destroyers out of the fleet. I don't think we need them. Um, we could get more battleships in here, which I think we'll go ahead and do. Maybe another one of these guys. Eh, we'll up the battleships there. Uh, then we'll come down to you. I'm good with staying at the four. Let's up you. Because we really do want the cannon fodder, I think, to let our large ships just sit there and go ham. Um... That's going to be 10k. Yeah, we want to get those ships in more than we want to get that uh, strategic coordination center going. Um, so I think we want to go ahead and do this. And yeah, that's just going to be so <laughs> many Corvettes. Oh my god. Okay, so and you're going to get some torpedo cruisers out of that. That's going to be okay. But the nice thing is we're literally producing these all at once. Um, all of our shipyards here at the mega shipyard are being used. Everybody at that station is being used. So that's a really good thing. Uh, take a look at our planets here real quick. Um, here. Oh, wow. We're short on housing. Really? All right. I think it's going to be worth it to upgrade this because it's going to get us five additional jobs, which will get them employed. Um, we are short the one. So if you remember, this is the planet last episode that I had no idea what the hell was going on. Um, well, we went ahead and, uh, in between episodes, I went ahead and put in some more clerk jobs here so that we could at least get some of them jobs. Um, and there's still a lot of these guys here. I want to make sure that you're the one that is going. It is minus 25% growth speed. 
but it's still 4.15 per month. And that's going to start filling out these jobs. Um, so I think we're going to be okay on that. All right, so how are you looking? Uh, you're 10 short on that. Da, 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 da. 3.5k. You, on the other hand, are pretty well built out. Except for the torpedo cruisers and your strike cruisers. We still have not built a capital ship, which is kind of interesting. Um, all right, let's go ahead and reinforce you. Let's get those final corvettes and more of these guys going. Maybe a battleship or two. Let's see. What did you decide to build? Uh, torpedo cruisers and battleships. Okay. No, I'll, I'll take that. That's fine. Order's been restored. Good, good. Uh, here, man. Is it robots? No, nah, it's those guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get one more of you built. Hopefully that take cares, takes care of a couple jobs. Um, let's upgrade your capital. We'll call that good. And yeah, I think you as well need to be upgraded. Get those two upgrades in. Uh, what? The ISS? Ah, oh, the moon's people. Freaking really. You came... Mm-hmm. 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 I should have closed my borders. Crap. Oh, well. All right, we'll get that one... One alloy out of it. Uh, we may have to fight a war for the, uh, the L cluster up here at some point. But, you know... For now, it's definitely... Oh, they've moved their fleets. Where, oh, where have your fleets gone? Um, I do think we might want to upgrade this guy here. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Let's go ahead and do that. At least something that's going to put up a fight. Uh, armor hit points, plus 5%. Always good. Dreadnought hull points... Find somebody's shield leech. Um, you know what? Let's grab this. We don't have many options for this size of weapon, so let's go ahead and get that researched. All right. Uh, now that these are relatively reinforced, I think we're going to hold off and we're going to save up to get the next level of that strategic coordination center going. Um, oh, wow. We're down to 7.6k 7 7 energy credits. I mean, we're still chicken out plus 770 a month, but it does limit our ability to, uh, to buy a lot of alloys, um, at least in bulk. Might as well up this guy. Because why not? We can afford it. And let's go offload some minerals, because we just maxed that out. Yeah, those are dirt cheap right now. Okay, so we can't activate a relic, so we'll want to keep that in mind when we go to war. Um, additionally, we'll want to make sure we do some sort of edicts. Uh, and it does have me slightly concerned I can't see where their fleets are. Did you go to war? You did not. Hmm. All right, we need a bunch of jobs here. So I think what we're going to go do is just do a commercial zone um, and just get as many jobs as possible on there uh, for for that planet. Can't really do anything there right now. Here, we're short on housing. Uh, that can definitely be taken care of, though. That's built. That's built. Okay. Don't know why I went up there. Hmm. Okay, so even with their fleets being gone? Oh, no, here we are. No. Okay, why? No, those are Mon Cal. They're definitely Mon Cal. Oh, wow, 628. Have they caught up to me? I think they might have caught up to me. Where is something I can click on? Ooh, tech-wise, they've caught up. That's interesting. 
That's real interesting. Um, I feel like one of them might have built... Uh, the... Oh my god, what is it? The research megastructure. I am blanking so hard right now. The... Science Nexus. Yeah, they probably built the Science Nexus, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, well, we're going to go military to beat their butts. So <laughs> that's going to have to be the route that we go at this point in time um, because we're committed, I think. But yeah, that means they may. They're wary. But I don't think they're going to go to war with us. But I guess that would make life interesting if they did. All right, up here, you're done. All that good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Mega structure, mega structure, mega structure. All right, let's vote on something. Guardian Angels Act. Did Mega Weight from Fleet Power minus 20? No, absolutely not. Yeah, but see, even there, they're, they're more influential than us. We do need to have this war. Um, What were we at today? Eh, we might. I don't think we're going to kick it off today. We might, but I, I don't think we are. Um, I do want to go ahead and get um, some armies kicking out um, before I forget. Because inevitably I'm going to. And I'd rather do this now than during the war when I do something stupid with my armies and, you know, run them into an enemy fleet uh, or any th any stupid thing like that. And as we've done the whole series, we'll keep it pure with just Mandalorian assault armies. No clones, no gene warriors, nothing like that. All right. Two more habitability interstellar. Can I siphon? Eh, we'll take leader lifespan. All right, we're getting pretty close on that. There's going to be a couple more months here. Uh, We'll get up to 14. Yeah, it'll be three more months. Um, another admiral has died. Dang. All right, you're up. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Okay, there is those weapons. <sighs> Disruptor twos. Here we go. Come to me. I need you. I need that armor damage in my life right now. We are, if we're lacking in anything, it's armor damage. All right, we're one month away from being able to upgrade the strategic coordination center over here. And I think that might be a bug that it's not, uh, that it starts out as the mega shipyard. Uh, pirate sighted, really? Uh, it's probably that same system it always is, but we'll take a look at that here in a second. Oh, hey, we can go do that. Let's get that going. Oh, that's interesting. All right, well, uh, one of our fleets is going to get a warm-up. You go. All of our battleships. I really want to get a capital ship in this fleet. Unfortunately, I think it's the most expensive thing left. Come on, just take them out. Ah, that's a lot of raiders. Very quick, very relatively painless, I think. I think. <laughs> Did we lose anything? No. Lost a little bit of shields, but, but not much. All right, that's getting upgraded there. Let's reinforce as we can over here. And yeah, the, it's, it's, it hasn't been a slow episode by any means, um, but compared to the last few episodes where we've been basically at war constantly, um, it, uh, it has been a little bit less of an active episode. Um, oh, what a raiding fleet, really. They would do that. Yeah, let's go. I wish we could do a commercial pact. Um, can we do a commercial pact with you guys?
Ah, uh, relations are... Okay. Uh, let's send our envoy real quick. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, I want to... Sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, improve relations. Send envoy. We'll wait for that to tick into the positive, and then we're going to grab a commercial pact with these guys. Oh, they must be independent. Really? I thought... I thought we could have tried with... Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever. It'll be fine. Barrier. Yeah, we still haven't built up. All right. Battleships are up to full strength here. Still short on some here. Um, we can fit more in the fleet, so I think that's what we're going to want to do. Go away. Uh, two capital ships. Couple... Okay, we're maxed out there. We'll grab one more battleship here. And yeah, we're waiting on... Wow. How expensive are our torpedo cruisers? 1k each. Oof. Those are not cheap. Those are not cheap at all. I'm almost curious if we would prefer to do a strike cruiser instead. Or hell, even switch back to destroyers would be an option at this point. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll leave it for now because of the aesthetics, and I like the torpedo cruisers. Um, I, Even if it's not completely um, uh, the best mid-max, I do enjoy overwhelming enemy defenses with missiles or uh, um, torpedoes and, and the like in this game. It's kind of one of my... It's one of the things I really like doing in the game. Um, so we're probably... Well, we will stick with that... Um, Fleet, uh, fleet build. Let's go ahead and reinforce you. Does that get me a couple cruisers going? No, actually, you build the battleships first. Okay. All right, we are just a tick under negative on consumer goods. Food is starting to get worse, so we're going to want to get a handle on that uh, before anything bad happens. Let's, let's do this. We're going to build three ag districts here. Then what we're going to do is, I think it's on Mandalore, no, here, we have excess pops and they are all robots, I believe. Yep, nine robots. So, we are going to resettle. Now, are we, this is going to be Baham Prime. Okay. Wait, you've got unemployed robots over here? Oh, right. You did have one job available. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. Okay. We're going to send you to Baham Prime. Uh, and we're going to get you guys. Working the farms. There we go. So, yeah. This should kick out. What is this? How many jobs per? Two jobs. So, that'll be six. That'll get some of it. We will need to go... Well, the housing will take care of itself. But let's go ahead and get a fourth Ag Districts going. Um, and we'll, we'll get all those robots working for us. Alright, guys. I think we are going to wrap this episode up here. I wish we had been able to go to war in this episode. But more than likely, it is going to end up being in the next episode. Good God. Strategic Coordination Center from the Wookiees. Oof. We're starting to fall behind, man. <laughs> Oddly enough, we're starting to fall a little bit behind on some of this stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and up this a little bit more. Uh, and we will call that good. Uh, and yeah, need to get that strategic coordination center up and running. Need to finish hashing out these fleets. And then we really need to go over with the Tendraken Council. Uh, and make sure that they do not get a chance to outbuild our fleets. But... As I said, that is going to have to all take place in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you in the next one. Later, everybody.